fall on the. Oh, now I get up. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the historic district commission meeting. Let's do the roll call. Okay, Peter Davison. I am here. Dominic Cadella. Here. Wayne Davis. Here. Yeah, yeah. John Graham. Present. Um, and Andrew Munsey is excused. How did he get that? <laughs> <laughs> Not you. <laughs> All right. Oh, we have to elect a chair already. It says it on It's there. on every one of your agendas. I'm sorry. I kept it on there because everyone that I found had that on. It should be June or July. It's okay. Really yeah, okay. Yeah, I was looking back and it just was on all of them. Okay. So if you feel you need to skip that, we, go right in. We get skipped in. Yeah. have to redo it last time because yeah, his, um, um, Gary stepped down. Stepped down. That's right. We'll have to figure out when, I, when I'm due to. I think stay it right will go there. back to the <laughs> Yeah, great. So okay. Well, then let's approve the minutes or review the minutes. I make a motion to approve the minutes of what, what March. March 13, <laughs> 2024. I yeah. second. Who seconded it? I second. Thank you. All in favor? Say aye. 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 All right. We are here for 11 Elm Street, Alicia Johnson. Um, Map view 06, lot 32, replacing 17 windows and installing gutters. As I recall, Sky, that gutters and painting are not on our um, purview, so enjoy it. <laughs> so why don't you come up and just tell us what you want to do? Okay. Oh. <laughs> yes, you have to come up to the microphone. Okay. Does she get to be on camera too and on YouTube like everybody else? Oh, Is there you the go. Mic on? It's yes. A is it? Okay. Yes, you can pull it forward towards you if you need to. Yep. That's fine. Um, thank you for having me. Um, so my husband and I just bought 11 Elm Street um, in the historic dis district. Uh, we're not house flippers or anything like that. We're purchasing it to uh, live in it. It's a duplex. So there is uh, there's renters behind us in unit number two. Um, the house was just kind of like a, a really quick fact story. The house was very neglected, I want to say, that there was no upkeep. Uh, so there's just some major issues that we're trying to repair uh, so we can live in it in the next month. Uh, the worst part by far is all of the windows. Um, there's various safety issues that the inspector found when we had the inspection for purchasing. 11 Elm, uh, that a lot of the windows don't even open. They're sealed completely shut. Um, so some of them in even the where the tenants are don't operate according to the code, I guess, is what the inspector was talking about. I don't know much about building code or anything, but uh, they're just, they're very rotten. They're leaking. You can see daylight standing inside the house. Uh, so obviously you can just feel the wind coming through and everything. So um, we didn't know really the uh, ins and outs of buying a historic house and doing this, um, but I wanted to do it the right way. And uh, so that brought us here asking to uh, please let us get new windows. <laughs> well, thank you. Does anybody have a question for you? while we're here um, so I'm trying, to, trying to see on the uh, photos that were provided uh, which windows had already been replaced by the previous owner it's all the bottom ones okay so on the the long side of the house not the short little side kind of the long double and the green street side yeah green street side there we go yes um all of the bottom ones that would be the basement windows have been replaced they're a white vinyl mm -hmm. um one that unit, so. unit kitchen has been replaced. I think it might have broke or something over the past few years, but that one is also replaced. So that leaves, I think, 17. Um, we did talk to a window person who can make them. They're leaving the, of course, of the internal parts of the house. Yeah, the the framing is the same. So they're replacing the actual windows to exact fit and they'll keep the um barring or whatever it's officially called inside the windows to make it look the same for the historic charm. 
Um, but I think opening to help the uh, safety hazards and um, everything else would be very nice. So your your windows or the existing windows right now that uh, you want would like to replace those are like two over two divided lights. Is that correct? And I go ahead. Think so. They're they're original. We talked to the the neighbor grew up in our house. So he was saying that they are the originals. Uh, he remembers his grandmother having them, the same ones. Um, so they are, yeah, there's four panels total. And they'll, uh, some of them are broken inside. They're just kind of being held up by tape. Mm -hmm. um, you can wiggle them all around. They're all, you know, lead paint and crackling. And <laughs> uh, a lot of them are molded. They're all black. And just, I've been trying to clean them and it's just a nightmare. And what um, what options did the uh, the window company do? They have wood replacement window options as well, and for the the mullions, the dividers that go in the windows, are those intended to be interior or exterior to the window? Do you know? No. Um, from the, the the window work, I don't believe. What's the first part of the question? I apologize. Uh, are there wood options? Wood replacement options? Uh, versus vinyl. First uh, vinyl. And then the other the other part of the question is the dividers, the mullions, are they going to be interior to the window or exterior to the I, I'm not exactly sure that if it doesn't say in the information about the windows, we printed off as much as we could. Yeah, I give the, the clothes. Because we did have them added in just to keep the original look. I, I figured that was going to be a big deal. As far as wood, I didn't ask about. Wooden no, they didn't wood. tell us anything about wood. From what I, well, we didn't uh, ask. Why. Yeah, we didn't ask. I think like, they would be way out of the price point. Mm -hmm. Doing traditional wood, they're all completely custom. I would think. Yeah, looking on your on your quote, it says the you know lower and upper grid add on. Yeah, uh, but it didn't specify if that was interior or. Exterior. I would hope it's interior, so you can actually wash them and not have to go the the four panels that I'm running into now. Uh, thanks. Those are those are my questions. Thank you. Um, I don't think I had any questions for you, and I do have some things I'd like to discuss with the board, but. The, the original windows have storm windows over them. That was a question from one of our other members. I think originally they did. There's a lot of them that are wedged and broken into their slots. Then you can't actually get them up or down. Are they coming off? As a, If you replace the windows, are those coming off? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This picture here, do you know where that? That's the front. That's one of the front side. And is there a pane of glass in this? Is that that one, no, that one is completely so open. Wooden piece was your storm window at one point. So at one point, there would have been a piece of glass in that. that yeah. Gone, so that could be. You know, yeah, a lot of them are just broken out of it. So there's just big hollow cases that collect all kinds of stuff. All right. Thank you. Thank you. If nobody has any other questions, I'm not at this stage. All right, let's move to the discussion by the right, Wayne. Did you have any questions before you mm -hmm. go? All right. Is there anything you want to say to the board? No. <laughs> he just wants to stay there. <laughs> All right. Let's open it up for discussion to the board members. I think I should read these oh. comments out for the record. No, okay. Just Go ahead. I think, I think that's how we do it. Um, so I'm just going to read out the comments from Andrew Munsey, who is not in attendance, but provided written comments. And this is just for the record. So the comments that he made were, the photos appear to show storm windows over the originals. Please confirm that the new windows would be without storms. Peter has asked that question and we've received our answer. Um, the Harvey window quote lists contour in glass, colonial match frame, 2W1H um, inch. I assume this is referring to the mullion in each sash being between the two panes of glass. If so, I would like to make the board members aware that in my opinion, this modern method of providing divided light mullions does not look authentic. I would prefer to see true divided lights for the physical mullion on the exterior surface of the glass. Some manufacturers can do this and refer to it as simulated divided light. While wood windows would be a closer match to the original window, I am not opposed to the vinyl windows proposed because from more than 15 feet away, it's hard to tell the difference. No other comments. 
Okay. Back to discussion. So, I mean, my opinion is wood windows would always be better, but they're so expensive. And a house, well, it's very visible, it has been neglected and shaggy and any improvement to it, we should encourage. It already has vinyl siding on it. It's not going to change the appearance drastically by having vinyl windows. So I would be more than willing to make the exception of vinyl windows. I do agree with Andrew that as much as they may be a pain to clean on the outside, a divided light, a physical piece coming down the outside in the middle is much more would trick the eye better when you're driving by and walking by to make it look like a thing rather than that little white piece of strip they put in the middle no. that doesn't in my mind do much for the visual appeal. So I would be more than willing to give permission grant permission for this with the contingency that the there are a two over two and Two divided lights in the top, two divided lights in the bottom, and that it is a exterior. It's on the window. It's on the window. Uh, yes, I, I, I have the, I'm of the same opinion. I think that, um, as you said, it's even though wood would be in keeping with mm -hmm. the original character of the house, it, it would be, it can be sometimes cost prohibitive. Same reason why we had asphalt shingles instead of slate roofs and all that kind of stuff, too. So, uh, excited to see uh, any improvement, like you said. Yeah, so, yeah, so that you really yeah. do encourage the fact that you are here. And the other thing I just know, not that it matters, but two or twos would not have been original windows. No, because it's, it's like a Victorian 1900. style. Yeah. You know, 1890s to 1900 would have been. It would have been a six over six or a six over nines original. If you pull your old windows out, you may even see some old paint lines that would tell you what it was. Um, but these were the replacement windows of the 1900, and they've done that job for 120 years, and it's probably back. Um, and I just don't feel the house is enough of a. I don't want to be just going against houses, but there are some houses that I would push much harder for. It. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, wooden windows and keeping the replacement because they are such prominent houses. When this house just needs some love. And I don't think the price is really going to be affected, in my opinion. It's usually a lot. I mean, we just did a housing bunch, I think it was 25 bucks if you want six over six or one over two over two, not that. Yeah, so I, I'd be, I, I would support uh, the vinyl as long as we could get the external mullions to kind of keep the more of a historical character and less about. Um, uh, mimicking the historic here. Wayne, the green. All right, and that is that is, I believe, uh, Andy's recommendation as well. So, does somebody want to make the motion? If you give me one second, okay, I can sure. just read this motion to bring Oh, I should have received that. Call. Okay. Yep. Okay. Just make it through. Yeah. No, I I yeah. done that. I thought that that was fine. Yeah. Not about you. Yes. Well, yes. I have a YouTube show watch on after you heard. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you have a copy of the motion? I'm working on there it is. You may keep it. I trust you. Okay, I make a motion that the historical district commission approves the certificate of appropriate for 11 Elm Street to 17 replacement windows, comma, on the condition that they are two. Over two is sorry. Don't have that email. Does anybody have two? you want the email? Two over two. We've had it. 
than that they are stimulated. The stimulated divided by SBL. And as outlined in the application, as satisfied by 225-18B1A and 225-18B1 and 225-18B2A as the top and zone coordinates with the following conditions. The commission review and approve those of these final facts, plan for chairs, submitted by the applicant, written in all comments of the applicant, representative, and the officials and members of the public, respecting the public record. Any change to the approved plans not called for in these conditions shall require further review and approval in accordance with the tops and zoning ordinance. Great. Excellent. Second. I second it. All right. All in favor say aye. Aye. It passes. Hopefully that works. Yeah. I assume we got all the money. Yeah. Thank you so much. Welcome to town. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Uh, do we have a motion? Is there anybody? Do they want to comment? Nope. <laughs> it's okay to be a strong style. Right? Want, anybody want to make a motion to adjourn the meeting? I make a motion to adjourn the meeting. All in favor say aye. Aye. Adjourn, is there free to go?